Hi guys, this is Yong. So today we're going to talk about Hudson Zeno Mini Pro, which is a new drone that's actually coming out in the market in the upcoming week. So I'm pretty excited because it will be in direct competition to DJI Mini 2. So I think we want to know all about the specs. Today I'm not going to review the real thing because I don't have the actual devices yet. However, do wait for me for the real review. Before we start though, I just want to share with you guys about this mic that I'm using, which is a brand new mic that I've been using for the last one week and I did a review about it. It is Pixel Voica Lock. So do check out my previous video if you are interested in getting a wireless mic system under $200. All right, so now back to the discrete mode. So let's talk about the price of Hobson Zeno Mini Pro against the Mini 2 because at the end of the price matters. So when it comes to price, it seems like Hobson designed this drone to be in direct competition against Mini 2. So I'm just gonna look at, I actually have laptop with me because I don't remember everything. So in the website of Hobson Zeno Mini Pro, we can see the very basic box, 64 gigabyte, one battery, four propellers, and I suppose it includes RC as well. That's going for $459. And for DJI Mini 2, the base basic combination is going at $450, $449. So basically it is the same because for Mini 2, you would need to get an additional memory card. So yeah, you will end up spending you know, 10, 20, 30 dollars more. If you increase the memory size to 128 gigabyte, and it seems like it is an internal, it's a built-in memory space, either 64 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte, then you do have to add another 50 dollars. And startup bundles, if you get two batteries, for 64 gigabyte, then you do get $80 more. Extreme bundle, three batteries, you add $110 more. The starter bundle, 128 gigabyte, two batteries, you will add $130. And the extreme bundle, 128 gigabyte, three batteries, you do have to add $160. Then that extreme bundle with 128 gigabyte memory storage, it will be slightly more expensive at $620 against Mini 2 Fly More Combo at $599, $600. And if you add like DJI Care and stuff, the price is more or less the same. So quickly on the size, the weight wise, they are the same, 249 grams each. And if you've actually seen the live launch of Hobson's you know, Mini Pro, which didn't go the best, which wasn't like the best presentation, they actually weighed Zeno you know, Mini Pro and then it was confirmed 249 gram. However, once I get it, I'll also weigh it on my little scale as well. And since the weights are the same, they almost look very similar as well. So dimension wise, you can see that they are pretty much similar dimension, similar size. So the next most important thing, if not the most important thing about drone is the camera. So what kind of quality camera would we get? And it seems like Hobson, they have put in better spec camera than DJI Mini 2. Also, we have to see the real thing. However, paper-wise, it seems like the spec is better. So in terms of the sensor size, we do get one over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, which is bigger than what you get with DJI Mini 2 and that gives 48 million effective pixel. So that is higher than what you get with Mini 2, just at 12 million effective pixels. So the photo resolution, of course, that will be better. And in terms of other lens specification, the FOV, field of view, it is more or less the same. It is wide angle view. The aperture though, you do get brighter, super brighter, 1.85 fixed aperture. So that is much higher than what you would get with DJI Mini. So if you've seen the trailer of Hobson, you can see that they are actually showing around when the drone is flying over the city at nighttime. Although I cannot test the nighttime because it's just not allowed here, but it's something to think about if you're thinking about the nighttime photography. I'm sure some YouTubers will be testing out nighttime, so we should definitely watch out for that. So video. So we'll be using drone mostly for videos, not really for photos. 
Oh, I would take some photos, but mostly for videos. And video resolution wise, it seems more or less the same. Both drones would be taking up to 4K 30 frames per second. But one thing to note about Hobson on their website, they have not said anything about 24, 25 frames per second. You would just get 30 frames per second if there's something that's important to you. Not for me, but for you know some professionals, it may be important. Although this drone, these drones would not be really for professional work. So at 2.7K and full HD, you do get up to 60 frames per second. And video bitrate, interestingly, Hobson, they did say 100 to 200 Mbps. So that seems higher, although I'll need to wait and see what that exactly means, all that spectrum. And in the spec, what I found a little bit interesting is that it has built in eMMC 64 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte. So it seems like you cannot actually slot in your own like SD card. Is that what it is? If you, if I'm totally wrong, then please do let me know down below. However, DJI Mini 2, it does specifically say in the specs that it can actually support different SD card at 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte, as well as 256 gigabyte. So you do have a lot more options, especially if you want to take heaps of videos. Although for me, usually 64 gigabyte is enough. So since we want to protect the camera, we would want drone to have obstacle avoidance system. And if you go to rcgoing.com website, you can actually see how it advertises Xeno Mini Pro. It says the world's first drone with obstacle avoidance under 250 gram. So since I don't have Mini 2, I had to actually, you know, find dji.com and then I realized Mini 2 does not have obstacle avoidance system. Well, that's a little bit scary because it has that those eyes at the front and then it looks like just pieces of plastic. That's a little disappointing because what are those black things? Is it just for decoration purpose? That was strange. So that's what I think really makes Hobson's you know, Mini Pro stand out as long as they do have good system in real. That's one thing that we'll have to test out in reality. However, it does have sensors at the front, at the back, and also at the bottom. So as such, we're not surprised to find that it does in fact have a tracking mode for the drone. So I'm really excited to actually try out because last time you guys remember I was trying out, you know, tracking mode with my Air 2 and that was a very interesting experience. So RC wise, Hobson Zeno Mini Pro, it does have their OcuSync system. So it does have the video transmission range up to 10 kilometers. So the transmission wise, it is the same spec. For Hobson Mini Pro, it is at 3350 mAh, whereas battery for Mini 2, it is at 5200 mAh. So it really, I noticed it last a very, very long time. However, if you just calculate Hobson's, you know, Mini Pro, when you take the flight time, and I'll talk about flight time in a minute, the RC battery can last up to almost four flights. So talking about the flight time, the battery wise Hobson's, you know, Mini Pro, it does have bigger capacity. It does have the capacity of 2,400 mAh, which is slightly bigger than DJI Mini 2. But flight time wise, Xeno Mini Pro says they can last up to 40 minutes. So that's really good because even for me, DJI Air 2 that I have, it lasts about almost like 30 minutes. I can easily get two flights within one battery, which means you really get a variety of shots. And 40 minutes, I think I can squeeze in that three flights per battery. And now let's just talk about the remainder features that I want to share. It seems like Xeno Mini Pro, it does seem to have bigger range of movement of the gimbal. It does have up to six times hybrid zoom and it also has enhanced HDR photos, those things that are probably a little less important. So all in all, you guys can see Hobson Zeno Mini Pro does have very spectacular specs compared to Mini 2 in some of the ways, especially I think obstacle avoidance sensor. So it is a drone that I'm super excited to test out and also share my experience with you guys. So do wait for me and I'll definitely come back with quality review videos. So please don't forget to subscribe, like the video and see you!